Researchers here are aiming to bring down the rate of blindness that's caused by glaucoma in the next decade. A new $25 million five-year research program is also looking to improve the quality of life for seniors. And uh, for more on this, we are joined by Professor Tina Wong, head of the glaucoma department at the Singapore National Eye Centre. Uh, perhaps, uh, Professor, first up, perhaps give us a 101, just a brief understanding of glaucoma and uh, how it leads to blindness. Okay, great, thanks. Um, there's no easy way of saying it. Glaucoma is um, a progressive optic neuropathy, which leads to irreversible blindness. It's not curable. And um, unfortunately for a lot of patients, they will end up going blind if they don't seek treatment. The mainstay of treatment is really to control the eye pressure in the eye because glaucoma is um, affected by raised eye pressure, which presses on the optic nerve. And that gradually causes the optic nerve to deteriorate and die. And patients will then start to suffer from loss of vision, which starts from the outside in. So then it's very important for patients to be able to get screened at an early stage. Glaucoma is also a disease of the elderly. So as we get older, um, I was told by one of the professors that, you know, if you all live long enough, you're all going to get glaucoma. And we know that, you know, by 2040, one in four of Singaporeans are going to be over the age of 65. So we're actually going to be looking at a tsunami of patients who are potentially going to have glaucoma. Uh, Professor Wong, uh, the the issue of glaucoma, I mean, the, the manner in which you describe it, it is a devastating condition. Uh, and, and as you said, we do have an aging population here. Uh, the projections for glaucoma for the future may be high. What about right now? What's the proportion that we're seeing at the National Eye Centre? So from our population-based studies, we're looking at about one in 30 patients, uh, one patient in 30 have glaucoma right now. So if we are then talking about in another 20 years, about one in four patients, uh, individuals in Singapore are going to be over the age of 65, we're going to see a phenomenal number of increase of patients who are going to have glaucoma. But right now we're seeing one patient in every 30 has got glaucoma. Mm. Well, I'm uh, some years away from, you know, hitting that that 65 year old spot. But uh, I'm wondering when it comes to developing the technology, you know, um, to diagnose or predict and treat glaucoma, what areas um, can you delve into now that you were not uh, able to in the past? I think there is so much available now. And um, if you were going to get glaucoma, I think Today, now is the good time to get glaucoma in terms of technology that's out there. We're talking about AI, we're talking about deep learning to be able to use that technology to screen for patients in the community at a very early stage. We're talking about engineers who have state-of-the-art AI 3D imaging to be able to capture at the cellular level and image your eyeball to and pick up very, very subtle um, changes that can give us clues as to individuals who may end up having advanced disease in the future. And we're talking about nanotechnology. What I'm saying here is that we will be able to load certain drugs into tiny little capsules, inject them into the eye, and that will release your drug over a period of several months. And so what the patients will be able to enjoy is to go in, have the, a small injection done, get on with their lives for the next two to three months without having to worry about putting eye drops in on a daily basis. And finally, the most exciting thing is really about how we are able to give a one second laser treatment, which is another way of treating glaucoma. Normally, the doctor would have to apply the laser a hundred shots around the eye, but with this new technology, that we are going to be trialing, we are able to, with a single shot, provide 100 shots immediately, and the, it is Bluetoothed, meaning that the patient could be in a different room to the operator. So that's technology for you. Uh, Professor Wong, this, this new technology that you're using as well, uh, you, you mentioned that there is a, a trial ongoing for it. Who are you recruiting for this? Uh, and can you give us an update on, on, on the progress that you've had? The, the trial, uh, currently we don't have 
The one second laser is not available in Singapore. It has been tested in other countries. So we're very eagerly waiting to start this trial in Singapore. Um, there is another clinical trial that we are going to be recruiting patients for, and that is for nicotinamide, which is a vitamin B3. It is, it is present in a lot of um, normal products that we eat on a day-to-day -day basis. It is also a supplement that you can buy in health shops. The interesting thing about nicotinamide is that it's an oral supplement and it acts differently to the conventional way that we treat glaucoma, meaning that it does not lower your eye pressure. And so what we want to look at is identify a subpopulation of patients that we see in the clinic who may well benefit from this additional supplement to enhance or improve their vision um, in, in terms of their quality of their vision. These patients will be followed up over a two-year period, and then we will be able to assess whether this has improved their visual function or not. Professor Wong, thank you very much for joining us this evening and sharing uh, this uh, important information with us about glaucoma and uh, all the best with the trial that you're doing. Uh, that, of course, was uh, Professor Tina Wong there uh, from the National Eye Centre.